So the muscle pass is a really cool effect, but how do you use it? This is five tricks with the muscle pass. Alright, so this is the in-depth tutorial of how you do the muscle pass. Um, so let's just get into it. Um, first of all, you're going to need to position the coin on, on the tip of your middle and ring finger, just like this. And you need it to balance, kind of. And so you can kind of like uh, move it around at different angles without it falling off. That's what you're going to need to be doing. And um, so you're going to take your coin like this and retract your middle and ring finger so that it touches the palm of your hand just like this. And that's going to load the coin into the into the palm right in the position of the of where the muscle pass should be performed. Now, once you're in this spot, um, you're going to need to position the coin around this kind of pocket in your in your hand you can kind of see where there's a little circle just like perfect for a half dollar on my hand um, the circle actually kind of forms after you've been doing this for a little while so it helps um, as you can see it's right on that circle perfect to do muscle pass and that circle is going to be not right in the middle of your hand, not right in the middle of the palm, but like you would do with the classic palm, but right to your right of the hand. Oh my goodness. I can't tell you how many times people just walk in. All right, guys, so now for the first trick, um, the anti-gravity coin pass. I'm sure most of you have seen this one in performance, although you may not know how it's done. Uh, I'll teach you now. So it looks like this again. Well, I'm supposed to catch it, obviously. Like that. And uh, it's a really cool effect, especially whenever you can get it, get your hands a little bit farther apart. It really takes practice, guys. But um, uh, how to do this is, as you might have guessed, um, you're just going to take the coin in the left hand, drop it down like this to your right hand, and get into this position with your uh, middle and ring finger, load the muscle pass, and for the anti-gravity coin pass, I like uh, positioning the coin a little bit to your left, a little bit out of its comfort zone, but uh, it'll help the coin go more up than just to the side, as you would do in a normal pass. Um, and once you're from here, you're going to position your hands really however far you want from the start. Um, I, would, I would practice like this far apart at first so just so you can get the feel of uh, catching the coin with your left hand kind of and every time just kind of get farther off farther um, hi I mean higher with your left hand and the real hard part about this is just catching it with your left hand I feel like not so much the pass. Here, let me do it again.
<laughs> See, it's really hard. I don't really get it. But, uh, yeah, I have a spare. It's, oh, uh, yeah. Also, another tip is to catch it with your palm instead of just your fingertips. Just like that. All right, so now for the second trick. Uh, the shoot out the nose trick. I actually made this trick um, on one of my three coin productions videos and uh, I, I, I really like it so I'm gonna teach you this trick and how to do it with the muscle pass so first of all that's number four four people have trick I had a dollar for every time someone barged in on one of my videos oh my goodness <laughs> anyway so to start off this trick, you're going to do a false transfer into your right hand. So the coin looks like it's in your right hand. And you're just gonna pretend like you're putting it in your mouth. Like that. And show that your other hand is empty. And as you're pretending like the coin is in your mouth, everyone's gonna look at your mouth, obviously. Because there's a dirty coin in your mouth, even though, it, even though there isn't. And while they're looking up there, you're going to have the actual coin loaded on your uh, middle and ring finger down at your side. And that's where you're going to be uh, loading muscle pass, just like that. And you pretend to swallow the coin, as so. <laughs> you can even pretend to choke on it if you want. Um, that adds suspense. But then raise, raise your hand up to your nose like this. <laughs> and like maybe pinch it with your index and middle, I mean index and thumb. And whenever you're ready, oh yeah, angle angle the hand so, your hand so they cannot see uh, the coin, that's very important. <laughs> Should have said that earlier. And whenever you're ready, just perform the muscle pass. I'm sure you can figure it out from now to shoot it out. And you can even sneeze as you're doing it. Alright, so how to do this penetrating through the glass cup trick, um, you might have figured it out, but what I do it, shortly is I just um, show that the cup is a solid bottom and I uh, angle the cup so that the rim is facing the spectator. Um, I take my coin, show it's a real coin, and then I do a false transfer in this hand while still retaining this coin in this hand. And whenever I um, do my false transfer, the coin automatically rests on your middle and ring finger. So as you might have guessed, that is a perfect setup so you can do, so you can load the muscle pass just like that. Alright, and as you're taking your hand down, in front of the cup, you're going to be loading it just like that. And try to keep your uh, hand as, as normal of an angle as possible. So, still pretend like you have the coin in this hand. You can even uh, fake hold it like this, and like tap with your fingernail, if you want. Um, that is a little bit more risky though. So, pretend like you have the coin in your hand tap a few times and then on the third tap you're going to uh, pretend like you're throwing it through the glass but in reality you're just muscle passing the coin from your right hand into the cup and it's just bouncing off the back and falling forward just like that so it looks like it's going right through the cup um, I really like this effect and I still haven't done it to like a person in real life, but uh, I think it's really, I think you could do it in real life easily. Alright, so now for the um, uh, metal um, magnetic, there we go, that's the word, magnetic coin trick. I love this one. Um, I haven't put very much practice into it, but it doesn't really need that much practice as long as you can do the muscle pass. So, first of all, you're going to take two half dollars, the same, and you, and you can explain. You know, these coins are actually magnetic, 
and as you can see, just pretend like they're magnetic. You can even hold it like this, so it looks like they're sticking together, but you're actually just holding it with your thumb. Um, and show that they're magnetic, and then with one hand, you're going to load the muscle pass, and with the other hand, you're going to show that how powerful they are. You can hold this coin right here, and then perform the muscle pass with your right hand. So it shoots out, and the coins join. And then for the next illusion, you're going to place this coin in your palm as you're doing a classic palm, like you're doing a classic palm, and um, have the other coin on top like this. And whenever you're ready, just pick up the coin, and at the same time, release the other coin from your classic palm. And that's really powerful because lots of people do that with other magnetic objects. You know, they put, see if they can go through their hand and stuff. Uh, I really like that effect. And then at the very end, you can show that they're still magnetic. Snap your fingers and show that they aren't anymore. Magnetic. Alright, you guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Remember, if you liked it, like it and. If you want to subscribe, feel free to hit that red button down below. Um, remember to comment and correct me on my mistakes. I really do appreciate that. And see you in the next video.